Welcome to this week's makeover. And today we are taking a beautiful jewelry box that I found at the thrift store. It has, I would say, an Asian theme to it and making it over using Dixie Belle Rustic Red Chalk Mineral Paint plus a few more of their products, so stay tuned. I started the project by first cleaning the jewelry box with a soft cloth and here I am applying the first coat of the chalk mineral paint and my cat Posey decided to help me with this project and luckily um, she did not swat her tail into the paint which I can see as I'm watching the video with you that could have easily have happened. This piece actually has a lot of detail. Like I said, um, it has like the Asian inspired um, etchings into the wood. So I really had to take my brush and dig into the crevices to get the paint into um, all that detail. And I painted around the hardware because I just did not want to um, have to pop that off and put that back on again, but I did want to keep it gold. Once the first coat of paint had dried, I went back in with the second coat and again, um, really applied the paint into the detail because as you'll see in the next clip, I'm going to wax and then add a dark wax, which will make that detail stand out. In order for the chalk paint to be very smooth, I do a process which is, I believe it's called cross hatching, where you paint in one direction and then you paint again in the opposite direction and you do that multiple times and it creates a very nice smooth um, finish to my chalk paint. I didn't want to paint the interior of the box because it's lined nicely with really pretty red felt. So I just took my brush and I'm going to dab it along the interior, the tops of the, um, the drawers just to make it look finished inside. I didn't even bother removing my jewelry for this project. Again, for the smooth finish, I used my sanding sponge and went over the entire piece with the sponge very gently and sanded it all back until the paint felt very smooth to the touch. I then went ahead and used Dixie Belle's clear wax and applied it all over the piece and buffed it in. The wax goes on white, but it um, after you buff it in, it does become clear. So you can still see some white bits um, in the wood detail, but that will go away once I buff it some more and add the dark wax. So after the clear wax was applied, I took the It's Dixie Belle's Brown Wax and I'm taking my cloth and I'm really digging it into the detail to get it into all of those nooks and crannies um, and also around the side. I don't know if you could tell, but there's etchings along the side as well, around the drawers and on the top. And then I'm going to take a soft cloth, the same cloth actually, I'm going to just basically rub it into the entire piece where I want the dark wax to highlight. So that will be around the sides and in the detail. And I do that multiple times until I'm happy with the effect. This process does take a while because you need to play around with it and add the exact amount of the dark wax that you're happy with. If you somehow put on too much and you want to take it off, you can always use your clear wax to wipe off the, the dark wax and then go from there. At 
as you can see, I decided to add even more dark wax into the detail um, just to really make it stand out. And then I'm going to add gold on top of the dark wax for a little bit of, I don't know, I guess some glam, some shimmer. It needed something else and it tied into the hardware. So this is the Dixie Belle Gold Gilding Wax and I'm taking a brush and just dabbing it into the detail and then I'm going to take my cloth and wipe it back. The gold gilding wax is definitely a wax and just like any other wax, if you want to remove some, you can use the clear wax and wipe it back. I was happy with adding quite a bit. I really like the effect. And here is the finished product. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Happy Holidays!